On behalf of everybody in the community and on behalf of Westmoreland's Police, I would like to pass on our deepest sympathies at this time. The tragic circumstances yesterday afternoon, so close to Christmas time, and our sympathies with the families who have lost loved ones uh, in this incident. I'd also like to say that we are supporting the families. We have specialist trained officers who are linking in with the families at this time to offer them as much support as we possibly can. We've also linked in with the local schools which the children attended within this area and the schools are also offering support to any pupils who may wish to receive support at this awful time. Our officers were quick to respond at the scene yesterday afternoon and having worked very closely with our colleagues from other emergency services went into the lake itself to help rescue the children and to try and assist them um, as quickly as we possibly could. We've worked very closely with our colleagues in Westmoreland's Fire Service and also in Westmoreland's Ambulance Service and this has been a real joint effort. It is incredibly sad that we do not have any better news for you today regarding yesterday afternoon's incident. That's all I have to say at this moment in time. I'm going to pass over to, to my colleague now from the fire service and then we'll, we'll be open to take any questions. Thank you, Richard. We are deeply saddened by the death of three boys who were rescued by our firefighters yesterday here at the lake in Solihull. The boys' deaths are a tragedy beyond words and the thoughts and heartfelt sympathies of everyone here at Westmoreland's Fire Service are with their families, friends and the wider communities at this distressing time. Yesterday's incident is a stark reminder to us all of the dangers of open water, especially during the winter months. Frozen lakes, ponds, canals and reservoirs can look picturesque, but they can be lethal. And there are no greater warnings of this than yesterday's tragic events. We would ask parents and carers to remind their children of the dangers of ice and why they must keep off it. Please help us to avoid this from happening again. We will continue to work closely with our emergency service colleagues and provide any support that we can at the scene. Again, we extend our heartfelt sympathies to everyone who has been affected by the boys' deaths. Thank you. regarding the ongoing work here at the lake and whether or not there are further people unaccounted for. So yes, yesterday evening we had a number of different reports suggesting numbers of young people that may have been on the lake. Those reports don't match the children that were rescued from the lake yesterday. However, we have to be 100% certain that there is no one else um, possibly in the water at this time. We ha it's important to stress, though, that we've had no contact from anybody suggesting that there's anybody else missing. But until we're 100% certain, we will be carrying on searches throughout the course of today. Uh, Josh Gilchrap, LBC News. Um, how long do you expect to be here uh, without finding anything? As long as it takes. We've got specialist crews and we've got specialist equipment that's in the water that allows us to see what's in the water. So we'll be here for as long as it takes until we're absolutely certain there is no one left. Superintendent Ben Chapman from ICB News. Can you tell us any more about the three boys, about their relationship with their family, with their friends? Can you tell us any more about them? At this moment in time, at the family's request, we're not going to go into those details. We're working very closely with the family and supporting them, as you, as you can imagine that we are. When the family are ready to release those details, then we will we'll let you know. You keep referring to family. Are they from the same family? I'm not going to be drawn on that one at this moment in time. Thank you. The condition of the other boys. The the other boy at the moment he's still very poorly, and we'll keep you advised on on his condition as uh, as it becomes clear to ourselves. Still critical. Yes. Have you been in touch with Saint Anthony's School, which is closed today? We have been in touch with, with the local schools and again at the family's request we're not going to go into too much detail around uh, names or the actual schools that the children went to. Uh, I'm not going to make a comment on that one at this time, I'm sure you'll understand the family's wishes.
There are reports that one of the children went to rescue one who, whose leg had gone through the ice. Are you able to confirm that? Again, at this moment in time, the families have asked us not to release any further details than what I'm able to provide you this morning, I'm afraid. As soon as the, f the families are, are happy, we'll, we'll be able to release you some more information on that. It, it's probably a stupid question, but how are the family? The family, as, as you can imagine, uh, absolutely devastated. Um, also, at this time of year, it's, it's on the run-up to Christmas, um, so close to the, to the event itself. Um, also adds to that tragedy, but as you can imagine, the families are absolutely devastated, which is why we're we're doing our very best to support the families, and obviously we're we're abiding by their requests at the moment as to how much information that the families want us to to make available to to the media. So we're doing everything we possibly can to to support them, and I'm sure you'll understand that we are. Uh, led by the family's wishes as to how much information that, that we can say at the moment. We've, we've seen footage that police officers initially went into the water to, to help pull the children out. Were there members of the public as well? And, and just how brave were those people who did that? So, um, I'm, from my understanding is, yes, police officers did go into, into the water. They were joined by uh, other members of the other emergency services. Some of the officers went in uh, waist deep. Um, one of my officers was trying to punch through the ice to, to actually rescue the, the children themselves. Uh, that officer, um, as a result of that, had some mild hypothermia yesterday. I'm pleased to say that he's now been released from hospital and he, he's absolutely fine. Um, in relation to, and I'm sure again you'll understand, we're still trying to work through uh, all the details that, um, that came into us last night. We've got quite a few witnesses that we need to, we need to speak to and we're currently still working through that at the moment. I'd just like to take this opportunity just really to make an appeal that if anybody has any information um, or saw any events that, that took place yesterday afternoon leading up to this tragic incident, if they could go onto our West Midlands Police website, there are contact details on there on how to get in touch with us, and then officers will be uh, in touch in due course. But we're still trying to piece together exactly what happened leading up to, uh, to yesterday afternoon's events. So, as I say, yesterday's incident is tragic and everybody within the fire service community will feel that. They did everything they could under the circumstances to get into the water, to rescue the four boys and to bring them out to uh, the ambulance service so that they could receive treatment. Uh, but you will appreciate they are you know, deeply disappointed by the news that we've been told today. And it sounds like the response was quick, but inevitably it takes an amount of time for emergency services to get here. Can you give us an indication how long the children were in the water? At, at this moment in time, I don't have the answer to, to, to that question. The officers and other emergency services arrived as, as, as quickly as we were informed. Um, at that time, the, the call which came in to us was at 2.34 p.m. So it was in minutes with the report coming in um, that we arrived at the scene, but the exact time of the the children were exposed in the water. I don't have that information at this time. Once well, you arrived on the scene, do you then know how, how long it took to actually locate them and get them out? So for the fire service, um, we arrived on the scene quickly alongside our colleagues in the police and ambulance service. It is quite a large lake and it did take some time in order to identify exactly where their point of entry was. But as soon as that was established, firefighters entered the water alongside colleagues and members of the public in order to try and rescue them as quickly as possible. Because when you went in, I assume you went in without for the police and fire safety equipment just straight in between. The, the, the officers went straight in, yes. We, they were, um, without regard for their own safety, they, they entered the water in just their normal trousers and shoes, which is what I'm wearing today, so they went in dressed as I am. And a very similar picture for the fire service. Our initial crews that arrived on scene made their way straight into the water in their normal firefighting kit, and then when the specialist water rescue teams came along, they entered the water with, with different levels of PPE. There are no injuries to firefighters that I've been made aware of.